Hello, Sam from Toolhead here today. Today's project is we're going to be discussing forward module programming, what to do when something goes wrong. We also use this same procedure anytime we're installing a used or a remanufactured module in a Ford vehicle. The first thing you need to do is open up an internet browser. It does not have to be Explorer. It can be just about any browser. Uh, I've done this on my phone as well, so it's uh, it works pretty well. Go to www.motorcraftservice.com. You're going to go to Free Resources under Quick Guides, and you're going to go down to Module Data as Built. You're going to need the VIN of the vehicle. Type in the VIN of the vehicle at this point, and then there's going to be a list of stuff that comes up here. You want to pay particular attention to the tear tag. Go ahead and minimize your browser. We're going to leave the key off during this operation until I tell you to turn it back on. So you want to turn the key off, open up a door, take the key out of the ignition. I strongly suggest putting the key in your pocket. You're going to be tempted to turn the key on otherwise. Go ahead and open up the software that you're going to use to program this vehicle, whether it's IDS or FJDS. Leaving the key off, it's going to take about 45 seconds for it to not identify this PCM. And then it's going to ask you if you want to try again. You're going to tell it no, and it's going to have you cycle the key a couple of times. And then it's going to bring up a list of vehicles. Most of everything in the U.S. that I have found is the All Others list. So we're just going to click All Others. And then it's going to bring you to an option here looking for where we're going to put that tear tag number. After you've typed in your tear tag number, it may ask you to further ID this vehicle. Hopefully it's correct for what you've done. Uh, otherwise, you've probably got the wrong tear tag number or typed it in wrong. Going to take a second to further identify the vehicle. After it's done there, we're going to go to up to the toolbox, go to go to program module installation and the PCM. Please note we have not turned on the key yet. It will instruct you to install the new module in the vehicle and at this point you can start following the directions as stated. Every vehicle seems to be a little different. Sometimes you need to type in the VIN number uh, since we already got it on our as-built page, I'm going to just copy it and paste it from the as-built page into here. Just kind of simplifies the process. You don't always need it. Hit the tick mark. At this point, you can follow the directions as it's stated. And it's going to ask you, sometimes it's going to ask you if it's got a patch system or not. This particular vehicle it is. We're going to turn the key on, and it's going to go through the module programming sequence. On this particular vehicle I'm using for the example, it is going to program the PCM and the TCM, or Transmission Control Module. And you'll see that it's separate functions here. So we're just going to follow the directions, let it program the module. Once it is finished programming the, the PCM and the TCM, it's very likely we're going to have some programmable parameters to program. Most of the time, this is tire size, axle ratio, all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, stuff like that. Once you've been given it the information here, sometimes it will be pretty fast at reprogramming this module. Sometimes it takes a little time. Um, what we're looking for uh, is just to wait until we get the calibration loaded and checked box here and once we get that we have to run our patch function or whatever else we need to do to finish this vehicle uh, I know it's been kind of a generic video my hope was that somebody would understand get something out of it to do the what we call blank module programming um, we do it quite a bit we've had very good success with it and as always thanks for watching Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more programming videos. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. 
and I always try to answer any comments that you may have in the comments below, questions you may have. Uh, have a great day.